What going on? Josh here with the Pride Productions back in Pro Tools with a 15th Pro Tools tutorial. We're going to talk about something really, really fast today. I'm talking super quick tutorial, but I want to make sure you guys understand this. We're going to talk about playback and recording time dilation. And what I mean by that is if I press the play button, you can't hear me because I've got the record button on. But if I press the record button, which is F12. Now, by the way, you press space bar to play or whatever. Press F12. You can record. I'm going to record myself talking right now. So let's get ready. That's me. That's me talking. I'm talking right now. You can hear me. You can see it all picking it up there. And voila, we're done. Now, if I press playback, we're going to listen to that now. That's me. That's me talking. I'm talking right now. You can hear me. You can see it all picking it up there. And ta-da, it worked or whatever not. Now, what's cool is there's a couple tricks you can do with just playing back. Again, this is the normal sound. That's me. That's me talking. And it's, it's doing it. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? But let's say I have this. Let, let's get rid of this little, little, little spot right here. That's the way it starts right here. You know what I'm talking about? Just... That's, that's what I'm talking about. Boom, right there. What I'm going to do is instead of pressing just the space bar, which makes it play, I'm going to press shift space bar and watch what happens. That's me. That's me talking. I'm talking right now. You can hear me. You can see it all picking it up there. Okay, so you, you understand what I've done there. So basically what's happened is it's literally split the time in half. Now, again, if you just press the space bar, again, it didn't affect the audio. That's me talking. I'm talking right it's still right there, and it's fine. But, again, you press shift space bar. That's me talking, I'm talking right now. And it's playing that in half time, so you may be able to use that to your advantage. Let's take it to the next level, okay? So, let's, again, you press F12 to record. And when I'm recording, it's doing all this nonsense right here. And then you play back, doing all this nonsense. That's fine. Control C to and do that. Well, now I'm going to press shift F12. So, again, F12 is the record button. I'm going to hold shift when I press it. Now, check it out. Okay, we're recording. It's no big deal. It's the same thing. But you notice this thing's going a little bit slower. It's going a little bit slower now, bro. That's all that's going on, homie. Now I'm going to press the space bar, and we're done. Now, look at this. Look at what's going on here. It actually recorded in double time. So if I press space bar. Okay, we're recording. It's no big deal. It's the same thing. But you notice this thing's going a little bit slower. It's going a little bit slower now, bro. That's all that's going on, homie. Now I'm going to press the space bar. <laughs> okay, you got it. Now, check it out. If I press shift space bar on this spot. Okay, we're recording. It's no big deal. It's the same thing. But you notice this thing's going a little bit slower. So you kind of see what I've done there. Okay, we're recording. It's no big deal. It's the same thing. But you notice this thing's going a little bit slower. It's going a little bit slower now. You can use the recording or the playback, and you can adjust the time dilation. And what it's doing is exactly this. If you actually, I'm going to delete it. If you press the record button, it's recording at regular time like it is right now. No problem. And if I press play, space bar, it'll play back time like it is right now in regular time. But if I hold shift and space bar, time like it is right now. It cuts it exactly in half, 0.5 speed or 0.5%. But if I record with Shift F12, what happens now is it's recording at exactly double time. So if I stop it and press the space bar, what happens now is it's recording at exactly double time. It, it, it played it at double time. But if I shift space bar to playback, what we recorded in double time, what happens now is it's recording at exactly double time. What's actually now is actually is playing back at double time, bro. Like, don't listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Don't listen to what, what, what he just, what that, what that, what I just said. Okay. But the point is, it's very simple. You record, you can literally, like I said, deleting it again, just one more time. I'm, I'm really, really making sure y'all get this. But you hold, you press the space bar to play anything but you press shift spacebar to play anything at half speed you press record with f12 to record anything but you press shift record to record at double speed so guys i hope that taught you a little quick something about pro tools 15th pro tools tutorial now this one's quick but i wanted to throw it at you real quick it's a super useful technique if you're trying to play a really fast part and you need to sh turn down the slow down the music to half speed and then try to record it at half speed or the other way around speed something up to kind of like you know whatever the point is i hope you guys learned a little trick like i said you can see me popping through here. I'm, I'm all I'm pointing at the screen. You guys don't care. But, guys, thanks for watching 15th Pro Tools Tutorial to Pride, or tutorial to Pride Productions. Hit us up on YouTube for all kind of different programs we're learning. Uh, follow us on Facebook, itch.io for some gaming, SoundCloud for some music, Bandcamp if you want to support us, and, of course, YouTube all day. All the links are in the description of the video, guys. Thanks. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate you. We'll see you in two or three days with another tutorial. We're going to jump back into Unreal Engine 4 because you know what I do. You know what we do. You know what we all do. You know what I'm talking about? But guys, again, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Hope you learned a little something. Until next time, love you, miss ya. Peace.